go now, you know people play of my name is the game and welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 video and in the background yes you are seeing the Bandai Namco trailer and all that good stuff. It's kind of an older trailer but anyway enough talking to me about the video in the background. Hope you guys day is going well, evening, whatever you are. I hope you're about to have a good day if you are just woke up or whatever. But Today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball GT in Xenoverse 2, you know, we're kind of noticing a trend here, I'm going with Dragon Ball Heroes in the previous video, now we've got Dragon Ball GT, I don't know what order I'm going to um, upload these in, so I might have just spoiled the next video, but I don't know, I might do Dragon Ball Super Characters in, I've already done that actually, Dragon Ball Super Characters in Xenoverse 2, but I might go into depth a little bit, a little bit more, but today we're here to talk about Dragon Ball GT in Xenoverse 2. Now, do you guys think it'll happen? Comment below what you guys think. It's obviously going to happen, actually, sorry. Comment below what extent they'll go to with Dragon Ball GT. Because in the last game, they went pretty, you know, pretty powerful in terms of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1. And I was surprised he was in there. I was like, okay, okay, nice. Oh my god, I've just got, wait a minute, I've just got Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I was like, what the hell, he's like the strongest thing ever to live. So, maybe that means that they'll add in more, like Baby and um, Vegeta, GT, and all that. You know, amazing characters from GT. Hopefully we'll have the DLC pack from the last game inside, inside in the uh, game day one. Maybe not day one, maybe you need to unlock them. But hopefully they'll be in the game. As I would hope they would be, since you had to buy them last time round. Hopefully you don't need to buy them again. That would suck ass! But... Maybe just like even the uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, it's got a wide, wide range of characters, and you know all the outfits. Just even just adding in the outfits, you know, for Gohan, you know, Goku, you know, that would be cool. Even though Goku's a kid and he's a different, he would have to be a different character. But in my opinion, that would be pretty cool. Uh, will it add in Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as in the day one character? Because it's not been confirmed as a pre-order bonus. Black Goku is the pre-order bonus. Evil Goku, whatever you want to call him. He is the pre-order bonus. But comment below you get what you guys think or who you think the, you know, from GT is going to be in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Because Omega Shenron was in it. Super 17 was in it. There's quite a wide range of characters. In Xenoverse 1, which I was quite surprised at. I was like, okay, this is this is good. This is looking good for the second one, if they ever make one. And there they are. Hype. Leave a like if you're hyped for Xenoverse 2. And also comment below what you guys think about all this greatness and wonderfulness that's going to hit us in exactly what is today's date. I think two months now. I can't even remember what today's date is. But if you did enjoy, please smash the like button and also subscribe if you want more Xenoverse 2 Dragon Ball content and also gaming content in general. But right now I'm focusing on Xenoverse 2 as it's about to come out and expect Battlefield 1 and all that good stuff on the channel on day one. Just, why not? Gaming channel all round, eh? Eh, why not? Anyway guys, I hope I can hit 1k subs by the end of 2016. I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys go to wherever you want to go because I want to keep this video short. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, start a discussion and I love all your faces. Goodbye.